What is up, everybody? Back with another pair of staple, collection staple low heat. Yes, I'm calling it low heat because there are pairs still sitting and available. Kind of as I predicted, a lot sold out, but uh, there are pairs available if you want them. What am I talking about? You already know from the thumbnail, the title, you clicked on it. And for that, I thank you. Uh, thanks for clicking. Tons of videos out there on these. So if you're watching this one, I really do appreciate you. I'm not just saying that, not just blowing smoke. We're talking about the Air Jordan 3 Retro in black and fire red cement gray, aka uh, the black cement cement gray black black cement air jordan threes uh in size 11 and a half that's my size uh yes gonna be getting into a lot of things uh so stick around lots to say gonna try them on give them a rating so once i unveil these please don't go away quick plug for the channel please subscribe it's the only free subscription left also i do a i'm now doing a weekly podcast uh where I yap about low heat, stuff that I like, streetwear fashion, uh, shoes that I like. I like it. Not the highest production value. Um, you know, I'm not a celebrity or an influencer, but I like talking about the things that I like talking about. So I don't know. Maybe I'm biased. I like it. You should check it out. Uh, I talk about things that other sneaker shows, podcasts, videos don't talk about, in my opinion. Uh, and I watch a fair amount of the of that content. So swing by, check it out. Please subscribe. It's a podcast. It's on YouTube Music, and I upload them to Spotify too. All right. Uh, we'll talk about me being able to pick... A lot of stuff to talk about, like I said, me being able to pick these up. I know you guys want me to unveil the shoes, so we're going to get to that. As you can see, the classic Jordan 3 box. Um, you know, nice shiny finish. Comes with the info pamphlet which is dope with the tech specs on it. I like that a little throwback. I like that it comes with like all the details. Important here, this is the first um, Jordan to feature exposed air. This is right around the time of the Air Max, well, a little after the Air Max one. So exposed air was a thing with the Air Max. That was the debut of it. And then they ported it over to this Jordan shoe, Jordan basketball shoe in 1988 is when it debuted. Let's take a look and we'll talk more. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Now, take it in, drink it in. It's a beautiful shoe and I've come around on this. This used to really not be my shoe. Still isn't like my favorite, but I really have come around on this shoe a lot. Um, yeah, passed on the 1988 of uh, the 19 wow i messed up the 2018 version because an all black leather upper just really isn't my thing i don't love all black shoes especially all black other uppers they kind of look like a little 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 grandpa a little dishwasher-esque to me a little plain a little walmart a little i don't know team jordan Foot Locker. but we'll I'll, I'll get to why i came around on this speaking of Foot Locker. That's what's great about, like, it, we live in wild times. So I copped these at Foot Locker. At Foot Locker, slept past the sneakers released. Even though I wanted them, I wanted to try on sneakers. Um, I slept through it, and I was like, damn. Uh, and I was like, you know what? Let's go to the, my, the closest mall nearby, and let's just see. Um, I, I, I had a, a good feeling that I could get lucky at either Shoe Palace or Foot Locker. Rolled, parked, rolled up to Foot Locker, asked if they had any of my size, if they had these, if they had my size. Of course, the girl at the front seemed like it was their second day on the job, had no clue what I was talking about. No, no, no shade to her. It was just like, you know, me and my like, I was like, I was fiending for them, you know, I was fiending for these, really wanted them to have them, was really hopeful. And I'm like, do you have the, do you have any pairs left of the Black Jordan Cement 3 for walk up, pick up, available, size of love? And she's like, huh? I was like, Ugh. Anyways, that, that's not a real shade at her. That's just that's just me being like, I was like panicky, you know? <laughs> you guys get the feeling. Um, but yes, they had my size, like one of my size available for pickup, which is wild. Like in this day and age now, you can actually just roll up to a Foot Locker and get a pair of Jordan Retros that you wanted. Classic OG colorway. It's just, uh, it, I don't know, it's a good thing. I think overall it's a good thing. We'll talk about prices in a minute, but uh, I I think uh, 
I think overall that's a great thing. Like I wanted them and I didn't have to like jump through a million hoops or pay resale to get them. I was just able to go to my mall, pick them up, get them in hand right away. So yeah, I've seen these briefly as they like check the size on them, double check the size on them as they do. And uh, yeah, I, I, I think that's, that's great. Uh, all right, real quick, let's go over some details in case this isn't like, in case this is like the one and only or the first video you've seen. Again, appreciate you watching. But there's a lot of other videos out there, a lot of other breakdowns. So I'm going to yap my stuff, what I want to talk about, but we will put, do the basics. Uh, you got a nice soft leather on top, slightly tumbled uh, from what most people say. The 2018 version, it was like heavier on the tumbling. Um, and I actually prefer this. Like I, I like, tum don't get me wrong. I'm like most people, I like a good tumbled leather, but I like it like where, where it's in swatches, right? Where it's like pieces of tumbled leather. I don't like, if you just covered this thing in one sheet of heavily tumbled leather, to me, that doesn't look great. I like it when it's broken up. So if you're going to have like large swaths, large patches of leather like this, I prefer it a little more subdued, a little less tumbled. Um, so this for me is actually perfect. Uh, if you, if, if you like, prefer it, as I just described, that, that's fine. That's on you. Um, but just for me, um, of course you got the, uh, red eyelets here, uh, cement gray on the tongue, jump man on the tongue, embroidered, uh, nice little soft ankle collar there, perforated, uh, on the back of the, of the, by the Achilles there, Nike air on the heel as it should be in the original way elephant print not quite as contrasty a little lighter than the 2018 pairs some people don't like this i don't care as much i like this toe shape i know some people are agreeing that this this shape this toe box shape is more in line with the original and uh i'm i'm all for more of a tapered look to it i like that slender and sleek look to it i don't like a huge boxy toe box uh, white midsole, not aged at all, no reimagined here, no vintage look, just uh, creamy white. And then you got your classic Air Jordan 3 outsole on the bottom, red, white, and cement gray there. There's the star pattern on the toe for traction. And of course, the most prominent thing at the time, now it's something we just kind of gloss over, but the exposed air there uh, in the heel. And uh, apparently... Uh, this was the Jordan three got Michael Jordan to stay with Jordan brand. So the rumor goes, he wasn't a huge fan of the Jordan two, which, um, you know, I've really come around on the Jordan two depends on the colorway, but like, it's one of the more comfortable, I think of the Jordan retros, the old Jordan retros. It's got such a thick sole. Um, the Jordan two is kind of like mimics an air force one. It's like actually low key comfortable in my opinion. Uh, not super breathable, but like, you're like just standing. I think it's one of the more comfortable Jordans actually. Uh, but yeah, this originally came, if you didn't know, there was originally four colorways of the Jordan three. Uh, I'll give you some knowledge if you didn't know the black cements and then the fire red, the fire red colorway. And then also the white cements, which we just gotten in a reimagined fashion fashion. So they are the right white cements. This is probably people's most popular. And then the true blues. So three, predominantly white colorways and then one all black leather one uh jordan favored this one i think the most or this one i think all-star weekend back in 1988 when these debuted and then um wore i think the fire reds a little bit during the playoffs that year uh he didn't really wear the true blues at all I, at least not in games because it was not uh you know blue was not in the chicago bulls uh, repertoire back then and they had strict rules uh but yeah i uh I really gravitate towards the white cement and the fire reds. I didn't really love the the Jordan 3 at all too much when I got back into sneakers. It's a little too plain for me. But as I've aged, um, I've appreciated how wearable this shoe's it, shoe is with a lot of stuff. You know, I, I tend to gravitate towards more uh, flashy things, hence the name Fancy Pants. But uh, I do appreciate the history behind it how wearable it is with everything. I do like the subtleness of this compared to the Nike Air on the back. Nike Air hit on the back. I kind of like that. Uh, I do get that this was unique for the time, a little bit more out there, but just we've come so far. It's it's not so unique. It's, you know, it's a classic. Um, oddly enough, I'm not a huge fan of the True Blues. 
Uh, and you would think, like, me knowing myself, I would think that would be my favorite of the four. It's just not. Sometimes I do feel like this can look, the Jordan 3 can look a little, um, if it's not done with the right qualities, quality materials, it can look a little cheap. A little footlockery. Sorry, sorry, footlocker, for using your name uh, like that uh, disparagingly. But again, not executed properly with the right materials. I feel like this can look a little cheap, a um, little, little, little uh, common man. And you know, we like to stand out. I mean, that's the whole purpose. But I don't know what it is. I've come around a little bit more on all black shoes. And I think this is the case of slow influence. There's some things that, like, I, I, I'm older, so I don't get as heavily influenced, but I'm just, I'm human like everyone else. If there's someone I like and they're like, they're, you know, they're, they're stunting in something that looks amazing. Like it does influence me to want it, to want to capture some of that essence. Uh, but you know, that doesn't happen all the time. I think this is the case of slow influence over time. A lot of like, um, People who are into sneakers, people, uh, you know, I respect their opinions uh, about at least sneakers, not necessarily life, but like, you know, sneakers and fashion. So many people like this. This is in so many people's top lists. That's just started to rub off on me. It's like, yeah, uh, I would always have to say, yeah, it's a good shoe, but I don't like it. And that's fine. I maintain that for a lot of stuff. But over the course of the years, I've transferred that, but I don't like it to... I'm kind of missing, I'm missing out on not having a pair in my collection. This is a great collection piece. Uh, again, I was able to get this at retail right now. These are, some sizes are available. Check when you watch this video. If you don't have these, check online. Some of the, they will, depending on your size, they might be out there available for retail. Get them. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of, some sizes will be sold out. And if you have to go resale, uh, basically, people are listing listing them at retail, but that means you add shipping taxes fees. So it does like adds a sixty dollar tax, you know, fifty to you know fifty to a seventy dollar uh, price bump on that. As it was, these at retail here in California, I paid twenty dollars in tax, which kind of hurts. These were what, what were the what was the retail on these two twenty? So just steep, steep retail these days. Um, but anyways, getting back to the point, if you missed out, check, A, check, and B, I think this is a great staple for any shoe collection. Um, yeah, I prefer all white or predominantly white shoes. Here's my Jordan uh, 4s, military blue Jordan 4s that I'm wearing currently. I think hugely slept on Jordan Retro. Uh, just bad time of economy, the sneaker market going down. They made a ton of pairs of these. So people kind of like have a bad taste in their mouth thinking these are bricks, but like... Dude, these would, I will say it forever. These would have gone hard in 2020. Uh, you know, this would have been a $400 shoe. Uh, so it's just time and place. I think these are great. First time ever they retroed them like this. Uh, I, it's, it's crazy that these aren't like more popular. Uh, uh, crazy to me. Anyways, back, like, these they've only truly retroed once. These they've retroed like a million times. Shows you how popular this one is. Uh, which again, I've only be recently begun to come around with everyone on agreeing with this being a great shoe. This is a lot of people's like top five, top three, top one shoe. Uh, not for me, but I heavily, heavily respect it. Uh, and I have grown to like it. So let's put these on, see how they look on foot. The true test is how a Jordan Retro looks on foot in shorts. I don't love bulky, chunky, basketball shoes with no pants um unless i'm going to be using them athletically on court or what have you uh some photo shoot which i don't do uh i don't love these in shorts i prefer them with pants uh i do i don't mind any more narrow slimmer shoe like jordan ones have like a narrow cut to them narrower silhouette so i'm fine wearing shorts with those but like threes and fours twos usually i'm a pants guy so this will be a true test all black shoe all black shoe in shorts um but let me know a little comments plug little uh feedback interaction plug let me know if you guys cop did you want these did you cop for retail did you cop on sneakers i know a lot of people had a lot of success if they really wanted these they like doubled up tripled up on raffles and and stuff there was exclusive access which i missed out on i signed up for the sneakers pass 
Didn't get them on that. As I already said, I slept through the actual drop on sneakers. So shout out to Foot Locker, my local Foot Locker having these available. Um, but yeah, I hope the leather doesn't crease in these. That'll kind of be nasty work. But ooh, you know what? Not too bad. Not too bad. Sometimes black or dark shoes have a bulking effect. Sometimes they have a more narrowing, slimmer, slimming effect. These don't look too bad on foot with uh, with shorts. With just my, my ankles showing. Not too bad. All right. And like, you know, the great thing about this, despite like in a vacuum, this not being my favorite Jordan Retro, it's just that like it will it will go with a lot of stuff being a simple shoe let's get this out of here sorry for the camera bumps um yeah my uh rating on these slightly going up on foot looks better it's not that's not always the case i in my last podcast the last low heat show i actually talk about a few shoes that look worse on foot that i love i love on the shelf love in hand but actually look worse to me on my foot um most of the time, that's not the case, though. Usually, shoes do usually look better on feet, I, I find. Um, yeah. All right. Those are fire. Those are fire red, pun intended. I like these. Um, I know I, I know to some of you, like, yeah, no. No, no, duh. I don't want to swear. I feel like it hurt the algorithm. But, hmm, man. Kind of wanted to keep, I was thinking that like this would be a seven. Um, I was thinking this would be a seven rating, but like I'm uh, I'm actually thinking uh, this is going to bump up to an eight. Man, I've really like changed my, this just goes to show you, you can change your tastes over time, you can change opinions. It's all right. It's okay. No one says you have to stick to something, stick to an opinion. You can evolve, change over time. It's okay. And uh, I'm okay with that on these. Uh, I don't have much like this in my collection, so it's great uh, to add these. Yeah, definitely. Like, I think I know some of you are going to think I'm crazy not giving these a 9 or 10. But again, not, just not my taste. But for me, giving these an 8, that, that, that's high praise. That is high praise. Don't get it twisted. That is high praise for me. Yeah, I think I'm going to give these like, a, let's even go above an 8. Let's... You know what? I think we're giving an 8.25 out of 10. 8.25 out of 10 for fancy pants. And again, that is very high praise for me. Uh, my suggestion is get a pair of these in your collection. If the sneaker market or the economy in general starts to creep up, you know, they just retro these in 2018. They retroed them in uh, now 2024. It's going to be a minute. You know, obviously Jordan brand and Nike retro shoes. It's not like this is going to be the last pair they ever make. They're going to make these again down the line, but it might be a minute. So um, if you want them, get them now while they're cheap. Uh, who knows? These could creep up over time. The I know these crept up over time. The fire red uh, threes that you can still get those for retail, maybe even under retail. So, so if you want the fire red threes, uh, look those up right now. Um, but yeah, these crept up over time. So I think the same will happen with these. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Check out my the Low Heat Show, my podcast, and we'll catch you on the next one.